Uh, hey everybody, it is um, Monday, September 12th, 2022. Um, at uh, 6.40 in the evening. Um, today I was over at the neighbors. They got an apple tree and got some apples. They're, they're not in the best shape, but some of them are, parts of them will be good for uh, applesauce and uh, some canned apples and the peels. I can make apple cider vinegar. Or, We'll uh, scale those up um, in a little bit. I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I took one of the, the suckers, and uh, uh, I took four of them. Um, but this is one of the cherry ones. Okay, I'm going to be bringing it in for the winter, and it's uh, doing good. Um, so, and uh, I had trimmed up uh, some of my... Um, tomato plants and uh, they're doing good today uh, the other yesterday I got uh, some wood shavings about 16 bags worth of um, shavings and I put them spread it through the gardens um, because I'm going to show how I, how, uh, I uh, re-amended my soil um, as well too um, got some down in the elderberry there um, and I put my rhubarb over there and there's some for my, uh, so I, everywhere has got uh, some wood shavings, um, except for in my potato containers. Um, that's one of uh, the things I uh, put in there. Um, so uh, another thing that, um, and these are for the beds I've already established. Um, so as you can see, I'm walking through some, it's, it's fall here. Um, so those leaves will be going in there as well too. I'll bag, mulch them up and bag them up. Uh, I put some in my composter here as well too. And the stuff that, uh, um, uh, been pulling out of the gardens there. I've been going in there. Um, so I'll be putting it into a particular garden that I'm going to show you. Um, now for some of the gardens I've, uh, um, established, I'll be putting some leaves, mulched up leaves in there, and, uh, and, uh, I'll make another video of that as I, more videos, because this is a, gonna be a series of, um, of what, uh, how to make, uh, re-amend my beds, um, starting at the end of the year, um, and to break ground for, um, new garden beds. Now, um, what I'm going to be doing with my, my gardens, I'm going to be expanding them. Now, this is going to be my garlic patch. So, the railway ties here and everything are going to stay the same. Um, that gate right there and this whole fence um, here is going to come down this set of logs here. Um, and around my potato patch most of the fence is going to come down um to this post here um so or maybe that one i'm not sure so that this log here can roll um to where those buckets are um because i've got my gate and then so i'm going to put the fence along this whole log right up to there um then over here i have more logs okay i'm gonna put uh so this whole half circle here part of it is coming down and then uh this log here is going to be put into there and then uh i'm gonna have the fence come out um i'm gonna just sorry about that everybody uh the dog is uh very playful um so and then i'm gonna have the hook up to over there um, so, breaking new ground here. Oh yeah, one more thing that I'm going to show you, i got to show you, because, uh, um, it's going to be three separate things, like my potato, oh yeah, oh, I'll show you that breaking new ground. Um, but over here, um, now I'm going to be taking some of this corner out, um, you can see where I've got the wood sticking out there. 
uh, in between the two by sixes there, that, that one right there. I'm going to cut the screws there and take it out. And then right here, you see here, cut the screws, take out that section there. Then I'm going to take out this section here and uh, this one section here. Um, and uh, um, move that one over to here um, so that I can uh, get in and out um, on both sides of the tree. Um, uh, then, so now break into new ground. Um, now I have uh, put uh, some wood shavings down here um, on the ground. Um, and what I'll do, I'm going to be getting some manure in um, as well too for all my garden beds that I've established and uh, for breaking the new ground as well too. So um, my compost pile and a lot of uh, of um, my leaves and stuff like that will be going in right right to here. Um, and uh, and as I do that, I've got to um, take a spade shovel and dig down at least a half a foot um, and turn everything over. I will be leaving the grass in for the nitrogen um, in this area. I'm going to be getting some manure and I'll be taking some, um, a little bit out of this bed here, uh, dirt, and uh, a little bit of dirt out of everything, everywhere else that I can, um, except for the garlic patch, put it in here a little bit, right, like whatever I may possibly need to build it up, and I'm going to be building it up, um, like I said, from pretty much, there's going to be a, um, like a little ramp to where the dirt is going to be, um, because I got, um, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I'm back. Um, so I will be making uh, a little ramp here so that the dirt and stuff is where the shavings are. And then I'll be making a little ramp. Um, where you see that little opening? Um, I'll be right back once again. All right, sorry about that, everybody. It's just the dog. He's been a pain in the butt today. Um, so I'm going to have a ramp here. I'm going to make a little gate here so I can, uh, that invention I made, that little cart, I can wheel through here, wheel through there, and uh, wheel up to there and in wherever I need to. So I'm going to make some paths in where all the shavings is and I said that gate's going to be gone and that but i'm going to make a series out of this um so this is uh stage one the next thing i got to do is uh take that fence some of that fence down and this fence down and uh put it back up where i want it um that's this area then what i'm going to do is uh for over here um, I'm going to get, uh, a fence going from probably around at the end of that metal, um, there, squared up to the corner of my shed here, um, and then what I will do is, uh, take the fence from there to there, okay, and then, uh, I'm going to be transplanting that peach tree. And, uh, I think I have a peach tree right to there. Um, time will tell. And then, uh, I have one, two, and three pear trees. Um, to transplant 
and I will be um, putting one peach tree on either side of um, uh, the chicken coop there, and then I'm going to stick um, my three pear trees um, down here evenly. Um, so then some of this fence here will be coming down, um, but some of it won't be. I'll probably be leaving up a good chunk of it, um, for the simple fact that, um, uh, I'm going to, did you see, I got the cherry tomatoes there climbing up that. I'm going to show you the, uh, other cherry tomato one here. I'm going to start doing this with the, the fence um, instead of uh, um, pulling them up or whatever. Just use these as uh, a thing for some of the runners um, next year for sure. Um, so, because you cut down one sucker, ten grow back. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, um, and then, uh, uh, same thing like you can see here, right? And then this little skinny spot here, transplanted the rhubarb, you can see a leaf there still, um, and this whole skinny section, so maybe some of this fence right here will come down, and then, uh, so, um, and then, I'm going to use this whole bag here um, for elderberry, uh, elderberries and elderberry um, propagation um, so I can sell it, uh, sell them, and uh, the propagations uh, and stuff like that. Um, uh, from the elderberries that I transplanted, I still got, uh, let's see here, uh, one, two, there, the leaf there, um, three, four, and five still, um, so that's pretty good, um, and these ones here, uh, some of them have started to come, grow back, new growth on them from the, when I pruned them, um, and, uh, you see right here, okay, that's what will happen. Um, for new growth there too, if you don't cut the whole thing down. Um, these ones here, um, I gotta get them pruned up a tad away from the wall, but still even at that, um, they're got new growth, some of them, uh, a lot of them, so, uh, yeah, that's a good thing, uh, and even on the branches and, uh, out of the ground, um, there. So, um, there you have it, uh, but I'll be taking you through this, uh, series here, and, uh, we'll be calling this, uh, series, I guess you could say, um, uh, um, I don't know, garden amendment and breaking garden ground, um, that's what it'll be called, um, so, um, um, we're going to go get these apples scaled up, and uh, I'll bring you, when I get into the house, uh, we'll get them scaled up. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, we're in the house now. We're in the kitchen. Um, so, yeah, oops. That's okay, because it's going to be making some uh, vinegar out of this, and... Uh, um, some applesauce out of this. So, oh, Ugh. And we're almost 
almost at two pounds. Oops. Easy. All right, uh, so we have uh, six pounds, four ounces. Put you guys down for a second uh, so I can write that down. All right, uh, apples, there we go. Um, then, uh, six point four ounces. Okay, um, put that into the fridge. going to be an apple peel for vinegar there, that one. Yeah. So is that one. Yeah. I'm glad these apples don't have to be perfect. And then, uh, so that is five pounds, fifteen ounces. Where's the apples? Five pounds, fifteen ounces. Yeah, eleven, twelve pounds, three ounces. Okay, good. That's great for apples today. Um, yeah, so there we go. There we have it for today. Um, alrighty. Have a good day.